everybody, and welcome to today's Zoo to You. My name is Brian, and here with me today is our adorable little rabbit. Her name is Belle, and she is going to be the focus of our Zoo to You today. I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about her, and then we can hopefully go a little bit more into the kind of care that she gets every day here at the zoo. But as an introduction, Belle here is our three-year-old rabbit superstar in the education department. Hopefully we can get a nice up-close look at her beautiful face there. Belle came to the zoo um, because she was at a rabbit sanctuary for a little bit, or an animal sanctuary for a little bit, um, as a surrendered pet. Um, unfortunately, a family had her as a pet uh, at a very young age, but that family then decided to get another pet, a dog, and they didn't believe those two animals would get along well, so they surrendered the rabbit to the animal sanctuary, which is a nice little lesson on choosing your pets wisely um, ahead of time, but we have now ended up with Belle here, and she does a fantastic job as one of our animal ambassadors, and she is now three years old. Um, rabbits are really cool for a lot of reasons. I know they're a very common animal. Um, they're found all over the eastern part of the United States. Um, so I'm guessing some of you might have seen rabbits even outside near your houses and stuff. But they do have a ton of really cool adaptations. Uh, one of my favorites are their very large ears you can see. You might see Belle move her ears around a little bit. They can rotate them so they have kind of radar dishes on their head and they can kind of direct their hearing to whatever sounds might be around them. They also have eyes on the side of their head. Unlike us, our eyes face directly forward. Theirs are on the side of their head, which is really cool because it helps them see almost around their entire body. So these guys are really good at detecting predators that might be nearby them. And if they do detect a predator with either their eyes or their big ears, they have very big back legs, which are kind of hard to see because she's so fluffy. Um, but they're incredibly powerful, and they help her run and jump really quickly. So Belle here is great at escaping predators that might be looking to eat her, but she's going to make it very difficult for them by being fast and very observant. So rabbits are really cool, and now I can head into some of the day-to-day -day care that we do for Belle. Belle here is a very cute animal, as I was talking about earlier, um, and we like to make sure that she stays nice and healthy here at the zoo. So we do a lot of things to make sure that she is happy, healthy, and doing great here um, as our animal ambassador rabbit. The main things that we like to do are kind of physical checks. So I can actually do one right now and just kind of make sure that she is looking ni nice and healthy. I'm making sure that there isn't any hair loss or anything. Her body condition feels good. She doesn't feel like she's losing weight or any like bonier than normal. Um, and yeah, she's looking really healthy right now. Um, we like to monitor her food intake and how much she goes to the bathroom. So she gets a pretty standardized diet every day. And we know if she's been eating more or less than normal because we know how much food we're giving her every day. So stuff like that is important to keeping these animals nice and healthy. And another thing we do, which I can step over to this table to show you, is we like to get weights on the animals. So we have a little scale set up under this animal carrier. Um, and I'm going to plop Bell right in here. And we can see how much she weighs. Um, make sure she doesn't tip herself over because the scale is a little smaller than the carrier. Make sure that's balanced. And Belle is weighing about 7.5 pounds right now, which is a little big for some of the rabbits you might have seen around here. Um, but that's a very good weight for Belle. The last time we weighed her, I think she was about 7.7 .7 pounds. Um, so she's not losing or gaining too much weight, which is always good to see. It's always good for our animals to be very consistent in their weights. Um, that tells us that they're kind of at a plateau and they're nice and healthy. They're eating about the same amount that they are going to the bathroom, and it's good for our animals to be at a constant weight. Um, in addition to physical health, we also like to make sure that our animals are mentally healthy, and we do that with a lot of enrichment here at the zoo. Enrichment is kind of a blanket term for any unique or different experience that happens day to day for these animals. So anything like a toy or a new food or a new smell or even a new location can be some sort of enrichment. Um, so today we're going to give Belle a little bit of enrichment. We're going to let her run around in this little pen I have set up for her. We've got a couple toys in here. We've got a little bit of food um, and it is in a unique environment. So hopefully this will be a fun little time for Belle. She'll get to stretch her little bunny legs, hop around a little bit. Um, rab as I mentioned before, rabbits have a good sense of hearing. They also can smell really well, so there she is smelling her little hay basket. 
Um, and she's got some cardboard and wooden toys that she can chew freely. Um, she does also have a little food and she has a couple treats in here. Um, so hopefully she'll get some time to get some exercise, stretch her legs, and we'll see if she wants a treat for being so good. No, not interested right now, but that's totally fine. Um, and if we have had any questions, we can hopefully bring some up now. And if not, feel free to ask some questions in the chat. We can try our best to answer them about either Bell, rabbits, or any of the other animals at the zoo. Yeah, so we have had a couple of questions come in. Um, so since you were just talking about enrichment, we'll kind of start with that one. Um, but what does, I know you're mentioning different types of enrichment that Bell gets. Does she have a favorite? type of enrichment that you've noticed? That's a really good question. Um, if everyone couldn't hear that, they asked, uh, what is the favorite type of, or what is Belle's favorite type of enrichment? Um, so it definitely depends. Belle really enjoys certain types of food, um, but I personally think her favorite enrichment is uh, getting head scratches. She really likes her nose getting scratched. So every now and then, if you like get that good spot on her nose, she will just kind of flatten out, her legs will spread out and she'll go to sleep pretty quickly. Um, but she also does enjoy food items. She enjoys um, new brows, which is stuff that we might have trimmed from around the zoo. It's plants, flowers, leaves, anything that we find around the zoo, we can trim that and give it to her. She usually has a good time with that too. Um, but I think her, her all time favorite might be getting little nose scritches. Uh, and Genevieve was asking, how long do rabbits live? That's a really great question, Genevieve. Um, I believe it's about 10 years. Um, I would have to double check that because it's a little different depending on the species. Um, but around 10 or so years is a pretty typical lifespan for a rabbit like this. Um, Timothy wanted to know if rabbits can be trained to use a litter box. That's a great question, Timothy. He wanted to know if rabbits can be trained to use a litter box, and they absolutely can. Bell here is, in fact, trained to use a litter box. Um, rabbits are kind of particular with where they like to go to the bathroom and where they like to eat. So it's generally pretty easy to train a rabbit to use a litter box. I say that out of personal experience. Um, it does depend on the rabbit, and it does uh, depend on their personal preferences. With Belle here, it was pretty easy. Um, we noticed that she was going to the bathroom typically in one corner of the exhibit, and when we added a litter box there, she continued to do it. So we, she got that associ association kind of down, and she continued to go to the bathroom pretty much exclusively in that litter box. So it, in my experience, has been a pretty easy task, but it does depend a little bit on the rabbit. Um, Katie was wondering, what does she need to know before getting a rabbit as a pet? That is a great question, Katie. Thank you for bringing that up because rabbits are absolutely adorable and I know that a lot of people do want them as pets. But let me tell you right now, it is a ton of work so you definitely have to do your research. Rabbits can be very stinky. They can be a little temperamental depending on the individual. Um, sometimes they don't really want to hang out and they want to do their own thing. Sometimes they really want to spend time with you and they can be really needy. Um, they have a very specific diet, so you have to be prepared to get them the right food they need, which I don't know if you can see our little bowl of food right there, but we have some kale, some lettuce, some collard greens, some carrot, and a little bit of dry food in there. So it's not like you can only feed rabbits carrots and they'll be fine. You have to give them a nice mixed diet. You have to give them enrichment like we're giving Bell now. They have to have enough space to run around in. Um, and they definitely need human care. They definitely need a, some sort of kind of uh, connection with another person or maybe even potentially another rabbit depending on the individual you get. Um, so they are definitely a pet that takes a lot of care. Um, they're no easier than taking care of a dog. They take just as much work um, and you definitely have to be prepared to be able to meet all their needs. Um, as I was talking about before, you also have to be ready to do kind of physical checks, make sure they're healthy, make sure they're eating a lot. And it definitely would help if you got a rabbit friendly scale and could weigh them every so often to make sure they're kind of maintaining a healthy weight and staying healthy. Um, so they can make good pets, but make sure you're doing your research first um, and make sure you, you study up on rabbits before you decide to get one. Uh, Bailey, who's six, was wondering how long can their ears get? <laughs> That's a really great question, Bailey. Um, so rabbit ears are very interesting because it actually depends a lot on the kind of breed of rabbit, the species. Um, some rabbits, like Bell, have ears that stick straight up. Some rabbits have ears that kind of flop down to their sides. 
Um, and some rabbits have very, very long ears. I've seen rabbits with ears that are like longer than their entire body. Um, so bells are, I would say, about average, but some rabbits, just like some dog breeds, look differently, and they're bred for maybe having larger ears. Um, so they can have ears that are up to uh, even a foot long. It's, it's really pretty cute. Um, but Belle's a little bit on the shorter side with her ears, but they, they serve their purpose. And you can actually see her kind of turning them around a little bit there. Um, and you've mentioned the word ambassador animal and Belle being an ambassador. Um, can you just explain what is an ambassador animal? Absolutely, yeah. So Belle, as, as Jen just pointed out, is an ambassador animal. And the term ambassador animal is kind of a blanket term for any of our animals that we at the zoo use for educational programming. Um, so Belle here is actually one of the zoo's more famous animals almost. She will go out to schools, she has go she's gone out to other facilities, and she's been out on zoo grounds. And we use her kind of as an educational little teacher in her own right to tell people about what we're doing at the zoo, why animals are important, why conservation is important. We teach about the environment, and we do all these things. Um, and with the help of these, these animals, our ambassador animals, I think that gets public interest a little higher and makes people more excited to see um, an animal get up close and personal and hopefully makes the message a little longer lasting in their mind. Um, so ambassador animal, just an animal that kind of we, we use as a little teacher. Awesome. Well, I think that is the last of our questions and we are just about, one more question? Um, and we are just about ready to wrap up. Um, before we do, if Belle is making you think of springtime and all those exciting things and warmer weather, then feel free to stop by either Stone Zoo or Franklin Park Zoo this Saturday for Spring Fling. We will have lots of animal enrichment and animal-themed activities, and it's going to be an absolute blast. Um, but as for the rest of you, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and thanks for tuning in to see our little rabbit, Belle. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>